Hey everyone, this is the first part of our two-part tutorial on editing your wrinkle textures for use with Character Creator 4. You'll learn about how to find the correct wrinkle set and then export the texture for editing in external image editing software. Let's start off by opening the Edit Facial panel to take a look at the wrinkle results. If I close the eyes, you can see that there are deep wrinkles on the upper eyelids. In just a moment, we'll look at how we can adjust the appearance of this wrinkle. Since the eyelid is classified as part of the green region, we want to use wrinkle set 1 in this case. First, we need to flatten both the normal and diffuse textures, and then click on the launch button to export them both to our image editing software. In this case, we're using Adobe Photoshop. Let's load up our normal texture first. I'm going to start by creating a new layer, and then using the lasso tool to isolate the area that we want to adjust. An easy place to start is to right click and use the content aware fill function. This will fill our selected area with a similar color and texture from the defined area surrounding it, which results in the original eyelid crease being nearly completely smoothed out. I'll then add a mask to our new layer in order to fade the effect of the content aware fill to make it appear a bit more natural. You can do this by using a black colored paint tool with a low opacity and simply drawing over the top of the area you want to blend in a bit more. The resulting eyelid crease is now a bit more subtle. Let's repeat the process on the other eye, again starting by creating another empty layer, then selecting the area that we want to edit, and using the content aware fill function, being sure to avoid any sharp lines in our reference area. From there, once again create a mask on that layer, and use a low opacity black paint tool to draw over the area that we want to restore more of from the background layer. We can then right click on the background and select flatten image to bake the layers together. Once that's done, you can use Ctrl S to save your project and it will automatically update in Character Creator. Here you can see a side by side comparison of how the adjusted normal map looks when compared to the original. Ok, now let's look at adjusting the diffuse map by launching that into Photoshop. Here we can essentially repeat the same process as we did with the normal map in order to fade out the darker color strength where the deep eyelid crease previously was. Again, the purpose here is to simply fade out the discoloration on the diffuse map for the wrinkle, as a weaker wrinkle generally won't have as much of a color change when compared to a deep, prominent one. Simply save the project once again, and now the diffuse map will automatically update. Once that's done, you can use the Edit Facial tool to bring the eyelids up and down to test the results. You can see how we've reduced the age appearance of the eyes slightly by fading out the wrinkle effect manually on both the normal and diffuse maps. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for part 2 of this tutorial where we'll go a bit more in depth.